As the economic collapse accelerates, a massive food shortage is on the horizon. But most people don't even know what's coming next. With fertilizer prices going through the roof, farmers are simply giving up on their crops. And global food production is at perilously low levels right now. Meanwhile, food prices are rising at the fastest pace ever recorded, with grain prices soaring 70% since 2020, and meat, poultry, and pork prices jumping by over 30% over the past year. It seems that empty shelves are becoming the new normal in this country, which means that now is the time to start stockpiling supplies before we don't find them anywhere anymore. Stockpiling isn't always easy, and it can be quite expensive. That's why today we've gathered a list of cheap foods you can start adding to your pantry. It's essential to consider that we must look beyond the price tag. What we want is to make sure that our food supplies can give us the biggest bang for our buck. Survival foods are about calories and sustaining our bodies during extreme times. So, we analyze the cost per calorie and the versatility of each item. Prices can vary depending on where you live, but you can always find great deals online. Without further ado, here are 35 dirt cheap emergency foods that you should buy before the imminent economic collapse. Number one, potted meat. The best way to buy canned meat is to wait until you catch a sale and then buy a bunch of it at once. Although canned meats don't taste as fresh as other types of meat, in a survival scenario, they can be a source of protein, provide lots of calories, and they can be very versatile. You can use potted meat to make hamburger patties, soups, or even a casserole. Potted meat can cost as low as 15 cents per ounce, so buying it in bulk is a good investment. Number two, Vienna sausages. They're tasty, spicy, and some brands already offer them with a sauce. You can boil them or even cook them over a fire, and Vienna sausages can cost as low as 13 cents per ounce, so make sure you include some of these in your stockpile. Number three, lunch loaf or Spam. You can use them in numerous recipes, which is great because you can always make it taste different so you won't get tired of eating it. They offer two sources of protein, meat and pork. They're already spiced and smoked, and you can find them for 16 cents per ounce. Number four, canned ham. If you buy it in bulk, you only pay about 25 cents per ounce. The best thing about it is that you don't have to cook it. You can slice it real thin and make delicious sandwiches to eat on the go. Number five, canned chicken. It's an excellent source of lean protein, vitamin B, vitamin D, calcium, iron, and zinc. It usually costs 25 cents per ounce, but you can still find better deals if you buy it online. Number six, canned salmon. You can make patties, salads, cakes, meatballs, and the list goes on and on. On top of being delicious, it's healthy, inexpensive, and easy to cook. You can purchase it for about 38 cents per ounce. Number seven, canned mackerel. Probably the cheapest and healthiest canned meat on this list. It can cost about 13 cents per ounce and is rich in omega-3 fatty acids. The best thing about it is that 3.5 ounces of it can provide you with nearly 900 calories. It's also very rich in phosphorus, potassium, vitamin A, and vitamin D. Number eight, canned tuna. Tuna in oil can last for a long time. You can find a 48-pack of chunk light tuna in oil for $48, so you're paying just a dollar a can. Each serving can provide 60 grams of protein, so it's worth the price. Number nine, powdered milk. During a disaster, you probably won't find a source of fresh milk. That's why powdered milk is an essential item in prepper stockpiles. 
It's an important source of calcium. You can use it in many recipes or reconstitute it into drinking milk. For about $60, you can get an 88-ounce tub. Each tub is around 104 servings, with each serving having around 120 calories, 7 grams of fat, 8 grams of carbohydrates, and 6 grams of protein, which means you only pay 62 cents per serving. Number 10. Dried beans. They're high in calories. You can get over 100 calories with half a cup. They're also high in protein, which is crucial if you're living on survival food. Dried beans can last for years if you store them properly, so anytime you find a good deal, get as much as you can and keep them in sealed containers. Number 11. Instant potatoes. Having some comfort food in your stockpiles always a good idea. With instant potatoes, you can create many different dishes and get the carbohydrates your body needs, especially during an emergency. You can find a 5.44-pound container of instant potatoes for less than $30 online. And with this container, you can get 145 servings. Each serving provides about 70 calories. Number 12. Peanut butter. Everyone loves peanut butter. It's one of the first items to disappear from store shelves when people hear about imminent food shortages. It's a great source of fats and protein. One single serving contains 190 calories, 16 grams of fat, and 7 grams of protein. And of course, it tastes amazing. One 40-ounce jar contains about 34 servings, and it costs roughly $5.44, so you pay 16 cents per serving. Number 13. Pasta. Every stockpile needs pasta. It's versatile, filling, easy to store, very cheap. Each 16-ounce box of pasta has about 8 servings, with each serving having 200 calories, so you spend 10 cents per serving or 5 cents per 100 calories. Number 14. Vegetable oil. It's one of the cheapest and easiest ways to find options of fat that you could add to your stockpile. With one 5-quart bottle, that's a total of 160 fluid ounces for $20.05. Each serving has 130 calories, and a 5-quart bottle has 310 servings. That means you're paying $0.06 cents per serving size. Number 15. Lard. You can find a four-pound bucket of lard for less than $7, which means you're paying $1.75 per pound and getting 140 servings of 120 calories. So each 120-calorie serving only costs four cents. For being a fat and protein-rich food, that's a very good investment. Number 16. Oats. Oats will give the fiber your body needs to function properly. They're among the healthiest grains on the planet, and they can be very filling. Five pounds of oats cost about $9.49. You can get 226 servings of 150 calories with that, so you only spend four cents per serving. A pretty good deal. Number 17. Rolled oats. They're actually easy to find and even cheaper than regular oats. Rolled oats are also a great dry staple for cheap, long-term food storage. They can last up to 30 years and only cost 50 cents per pound. Number 18. White rice. White rice is a staple in every pantry. Whenever an emergency occurs, it rapidly disappears from store shelves. That's why it's important to add it to your stockpile as soon as you can, because you may not find it later on. Buying in bulk is much cheaper. One 25-pound bag costs about $10.99, and you receive 252 servings of 160 calories. All in all, you spend four cents per serving. Number 19, wild rice. It's much richer in protein than white rice and much more filling too. You can get up to nine grams of protein per serving. In regular stores such as Costco and Walmart, wild rice is extremely expensive, but if you go to oriental grocery stores, you can find it for about 25 cents per ounce. Number 20. Brown rice. Price-wise, brown rice and wild rice cost about the same. 
The advantage of brown rice is that on top of having a great amount of carbs and fiber and a high nutritional value, since it takes a while to digest, it'll give you more energy throughout the day, which is super important in survival scenarios. Number 21. Amaranth. That's another amazing, highly nutritive grain that can provide 26 grams of protein per cup. You get up to 800 calories per serving, and it contains complex and carbs. Number 22. Quinoa. Quinoa contains all of the nine essential amino acids our body needs. You can get up to 8 grams of protein per serving. You can get it for less than $5 at Walmart and find even better deals online. Number 23. Soybeans. They're packed with protein to the tune of 68 grams per cup, which puts them up in the same range as meats. In local markets, you can buy them in bulk and find much cheaper prices than in supermarkets. Number 24. Barley. Given that you can use it in multiple ways, turn it into flour, make sweet drinks, add it to stews, and even make your own beer, which you can sell or barter with other preppers, Buying it in bulk for 85 cents per pound is an excellent deal. Pro tip, look for barley in agricultural markets for cheaper prices. Number 25, wheat. Wheat is a must have in a prepper pantry. It costs only about a dollar per pound. You can use it in infinite ways. You can grind it to make flour for different types of baking. You can even make your own pasta. Number 26, dehydrated fruit. Fruit is a great treat to have on hand, especially during difficult times. It can help to keep your spirits up. It's a healthy snack for your children. The most economic way to get dried fruit is doing it yourself. Choose the cheapest options in the season, or the ones with the most seeds, so you can plant them if you want to, and dry them using a food dehydrator or create your own sun-drying system. Number 27. Corn you're only going to spend about 60 cents per pound, and you'll be able to create nutritious, fulfilling meals that are absolutely delicious, high in carbs, fiber, vitamins, and minerals. Number 28. Lentils. When stored in vacuum-sealed bags, lentils can last up to 25 years. This high-fiber and magnesium legume can be bought for about 35 cents a pound online. Number 29. Peas. Considering that they can be stored for almost three decades, dried peas are a great food to stockpile for emergencies. You'll spend roughly a dollar per pound if you buy them at the store, but you can find them as low as 70 cents a pound in bulk. Peas are an incredible source of calories, very rich in vitamins, and will allow you to prepare hearty meals even when food is scarce and times are tough. Number 30. Salt you can rest assured that salt is going to become extremely valuable during a long-term disaster. For now, it is cheap. You can find it everywhere, but do not take it for granted. Salt can help to preserve food for longer and make your meals tastier. Buy a lot of it and keep it away from moisture. Number 31. Sugar. Sugar is another form of food preservation that can make our lives much easier. You can easily find 10-pound bags of sugar for $4. And if you store it correctly, it doesn't really have an expiration date. Number 32. Bouillon. That's another simple form to add flavor to your meals. It can last indefinitely, and it's really cheap, so you definitely should add it to your stockpile. Number 33. Instant coffee. Instant coffee can last up to 20 years if you package it right. That makes it a great addition to your survival pantry. For about $4.50 per 80 servings, it makes sense to store it while you still can. Don't forget that coffee crops are being decimated by extreme weather all around the world, and a coffee shortage is coming. Number 34. It's a comfort drink that can calm you down and give you a little escape from the madness that arises after a disaster hits. If you keep it in a cool, dry place, you can use it for as long as you like. You can find 100 tea bags for $5 online. Number 35. Honey. This is probably the most expensive item on this list. It sells for about $12 for 5 pounds. However, considering that you can use it in multiple ways, and that honey never really goes bad, 
it is still worth it to buy it. It's a great sweetener for food storage, it can add more flavor to your meals and drinks, and it has anti-inflammatory properties, so you can use it as medicine to treat throat infections, for example. Never forget that if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. Building your emergency stockpile can help you to avoid the chaos of an uncertain future. Find the best value for your money by buying high-calorie, nutrient-dense food and plenty of water. We never know when a new disaster or shortage will emerge, but we can know for sure that being prepared doesn't hurt. If you liked this video, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more preparedness content. Thank you for watching.